And they're not going to have to wait too long to see some of the factors that may decide their fate because Papua New Guinea are up against Georgia. It's the foot books against the Lilos in Pool A. So we're switching pools and Georgia having been defeated by the host Chile in their opening match really turned on the style in a seven try demolition of Korea. And as for Papua New Guinea, well, if you've ever seen, if you've not seen 12 men go 100 miles an hour for 14 minutes plus and never slow down, well, you're about to see it. These guys are super high octane. They've got a win against Korea. They pushed Chile all the way. This match is going to be the demolition derby of Paul A. Rach. Absolutely. You know, last night's form from Georgia, really dominant being South Korea, 41-5. But do not underestimate the heart and spirit this Papua New Guinea team have. Could be indeed. They make teams work for every point that they get, every metre that they get. They're both chasing two wins. We are off. Papua New Guinea in the red, Georgia in the white. And Georgia winning a penalty earlier, tapping and going through Lomidze, who was a real impact second half substitute, contributing two tries in that big 41 5 victory over Korea. They've travelled here with lofty ambitions. They didn't fulfil them against Chile in the opening match. And a fumble into his own play. And that, that is as accidental as an offside can get. But it's still a penalty. And Papua New Guinea breathe a sigh of relief. Absolutely. That will be Papua New Guinea's Achilles heel in this game. Is their discipline. Not gifting cheap opportunities to Georgia. Three yellow cards last night for this Papua New Guinea side. A penalty try against them as well, against Chile. But I cannot, cannot overestimate how high octane these guys are. It's a miracle they're still moving after the energies they put in yesterday. And here they go, travelling at some pace. <laughs> But a turnover, and Georgia now, read out the line, just about gets his man, not held. But in inaccuracy on that breakdown opportunity, it was there to be stolen. Yeah, absolutely, just on the other side of the pitch. Made a brilliant line break, but support not there, and that's probably showing the experience. Just put your foot on the brake, wait for some support to come near you so you can secure the ball. And all of a sudden, they find themselves back in their own 22. You've got to hold your body weight over the ball. Can't just have hands on the ball. In Georgia. Georgia, in now. Well, we saw Georgia depart the power play style that they employed against Chile and used their hands. And this piece is incredible. Look at that shot. Look at that shot from Kadu Mais. The whistle had gone for a forward pass already. And he's just fouled Rekviashvili, who is no small human being. Look at this. Boom. Speed up. Absolutely not. He absolutely gets slotted there. Almost blindsided. You can see what Georgia are trying to do, trying to switch back play. Knowing that Papua New Guinea are working really hard, but here we go, the Nines always having a bit of a chat at one another. Stop. Let's play the game. Stop complaining. We saw this on, from coach. Malawai Patala. He's a player who likes to get under the skin of the opposition. Moving over. But they've tested the limits of, ref of the referee too much this time. Free kick, Georgia away. Wait. Playing with a shallow sweeper behind Papua New Guinea. Good offload, but it's put Georgia under a bit of pressure. Papua New Guinea are in behind. Yeah. The footballing skills not quite up to scratch, though. Well, we talked about the heart and spirit and desire of Papua New Guinea. Defensively, they're just not giving an inch, forcing Georgia to play the offload. Rocky, do we have a sub for the injury? 
Injured player is off, yeah. So an injury, by the looks of things. Just stand in front, yeah. To yeah. a Georgian. Just wait, on. Just wait, just wait. What are the hallmarks of the Papua New Guinea matches okay. so far, Rach? Has been the noise, the constant, incessant chatter from the players, from right the here. bench, between each other, at the opposition. It's, from a vocal point of view, very intimidating. They're coordinated, they're motivated. But they're being stretched here by Georgia. Room down this left flag. And put his head down, Will Rekiashvili. Good meters made. Little gap opening up. There are some numbers and the step inside from Narimanidze. Really bounced off the right foot. Saw the Papua New Guineans drifting across. I think number seven finishes the job. Yeah, lovely work, isn't it? Just working the ball from left and right. That really stretches you. And then when you're overworked defensively, your hips turn. And then the big step off the right foot. We finally break deadlock. Well, yeah. Nari Manidze scored an absolute worldie last night where he beat not one Korean, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six. Rocky, In fact, it could have been a seventh. He went and through the them all. And the referee. Okay, he's good. And that was the try that really sparked the Georgian style okay, just wait. We got as they to, turned it on yeah, in the second yeah. half. Just wait, time off. Yeah, let me talk about having the ball loaded in two hands because it just questions the defender. You see there, just okay, over chases Curara. Okay. Hips turn to the outside, and then that's your opportunity to step back in. And he's taken that try so well. And that's a fantastic kickoff as well, using their height and athleticism to best the Papuans in the air. And who's on hand but Lasha Longidze, a shining star for the Georgian under-20s, beginning to announce himself here in Santiago at the Challenger Series. They had it all. Superb taking the air from the restart. And then just holds the ball up just long enough to wait for Lomidze to come through. He seems to come out of nowhere at pace. Just no opportunity for Papua New Guinea to be able to recover there. The perfect kick right on the money. Just times it, waits, knows that he's got support coming. Well, one leg up in the end. The celebration started before he even got it down. He's waiting for the goosey. Well, it takes a brave man with that much body weight below the waist to taunt a Papuan player as you're going across the line. But great strength in riding the tackle. But look at that. The Papuans respond. They go striding all the way through. Sean Ongapa, immediate response. How about that for Ongapa? It's just striding through. Seems to be getting quicker and quicker as Georgia just get more and more disconnect. That's the sort of response that Papua New Guinea needed after that try. Get them straight on the scoreboard. We just talked about how good Georgia were on the restart. Lack of communication there. They've overchased it. Look at that pick up and step. Just watch this. His leg seems to get longer and longer as he strides out. They'd be happy with that one. Papua New Guinea right back into it and contesting keenly in the air. Big tackle coming up, but the hands are slick and smart. Lumite, very, very well tackled by Kunaklate. There goes the Hooter, final play of the first half. A real cacophony of sound ringing round the Estadio Santa Laura. Gigliori. Can Georgia get a third? This is the man who started it all, Narimanidze. More and more Georgians beginning to taste the shoulders of the Papuan players. 
that they have finally stretched Papua New Guinea. The hands will do the rest. Lomidze adds the finishing touch. The tries ain't coming easy, but the most important thing is that they are. Georgia register their third right on the buzzer of the first half. Yeah, brilliant team try, working up the pitch. Just doing the simple things really well, staying nice and square, moving the ball, knowing that Papua New Guinea have got no space to recover behind them. And Lemidez finds himself in the corner yet again. Lovely angle. Shame it went so wide. <laughs> so no conversion added by the Georgians. But that try feels significant. Papua New Guinea had got a foothold back in the game through the on gaffer strike from the kickoff. But Lomidze there wearing 12 has his second brace of the Challenger Series. And Georgia are leading Papua New Guinea 19 points to 7. What do you think is being said in that Georgian huddle right there, Rach? I think they, they know that they've got control over this game. If they've got it, it'll be saying making sure that you keep hold of the ball. Possession's everything in sevens. Every time they've had the ball and they've looked after it. In this match, for both these sides, certainly with quarterfinal qualification on their mind. That won't help the Papua New Guinea cause. Kick doesn't go 10. Georgia get the free kick from the halfway line. Yeah, such a shame. It's actually such a hard skill to put it on the 10, especially when it's going for the low trajectory as well. Well, Georgia are beginning to use an increasing number of decoy runners and passing the ball out the back in an effort to evade these monstrous hits that come flying up from the Papua New Guinea defence. It's taking two or three men at times to bring down Georgian players. And that just pulls Papua New Guinea all out of their system. That was a lovely ball over the top. Well, Lamidze is turning provider as he links up with the big number seven, Nari Manidze. Hey. We're going to go to the TMO. Did he lose it in the grounding? Bring them back. Hey, speak, speak, no. No, no. Okay. Stop. Yeah, it looks like Papua New Guinea just get under it. it got four on one there. Be super impressive if he does try get it no down. Try, please. Thank you. Just look no at his try. leg drive. Doesn't stop fighting. Might have just lost it forward there. But we talk about the desperation, and it is called knock on the desperation from Papua New Guinea. Not giving it up easy. He's over near the line, but no, we're going to throw four bodies in there. You're putting it. Now they've got an opportunity. Time on, crouch. Find. Set. Put it in. I think both feet might be up early there. Early. Well, I think the hooker's the feet are allowed to be up, but not necessarily the prop's feet. The referee's yeah. on it. Papua New Guinea. We'll Chance to strike. Referee says he's playing advantage. Papua New Guinea break through. They drop the hammer. They move through the gears. The crowd get noisier and noisier as they will Papua who go airborne through the uprights. Try number two back in the game for the popular oceanic side. How about that? Something out of nothing from the free kick. Just manages to kick, hitch kick out of two tackles here. Holds his balance, which isn't easy. Head down and going. He's got three Georgians all hunting him down. How about this for a dive? <laughs> Some Perfect. finish. Look at the air on that. Well, it was Paul Tono who was scoring against Korea. That was their last victory. Is history going to repeat itself with Paul Tono contributing to a comeback victory here against Georgia? Papua New Guinea trailing by five. Their unrelenting energy being brought up close and personal into the faces of these Georgian players who 
Have to try and circumvent the defence by going over the top and wide. Well, here's an opportunity. White jerseys pouring through. Papuan players uncharacteristically falling off them. It's desperate stuff. And eventually, eventually, Georgia make it across the line. One thing's for sure against Papua New Guinea. Yeah. You ain't scored until you've scored. They will chase you all the way to the whitewash. Okay, just give me one minute. That feels like a key try with Papua New Guinea beginning to build some confidence. Yeah, just at the strike of scoring. They then got to go back to defensive mode. But here we talk about Kendall on the outside, but nothing comes through the middle and he just steps on. Takes on four players, then yeah. runs through the middle and beats the sweeper. But as you said, Papua New Guinea not giving up the fight. That was just what Georgia needed to settle after that response from Papua New Guinea. Well, here comes Papua New Guinea, keen to reply immediately. Matala. Finding a wide man, finding a rangy one is the corner that got the winner against versus Korea. Dixon Morrison gives Papua New Guinea fresh hope. If you want to know what backing yourself looks like, Morrison is that bit of a fumbling ball, but knows where the try line is, just goes for it, backs himself, big fend out, knows that no one's going to stop him there. Can't take your eyes off this game at the moment. The conversion is too tricky to make that five pointer from Dixon Morrison a seven. But they're still within a score. They trail by seven. There's loads of time, loads of drama still to be had in this match. Georgia hanging on, although. They do manage to keep their composure in the face of the adversity. That adversity posed by the Papua New Guinea defenders. Offside. Oh, this is such a shame. Papua New Guinea were in control there defensively. Seven. Offside. Okay, let's go. Lots of tired bodies out there right now. So, good decision from Georgia. Let's get up the pitch a little bit further and play from there. Well, they chew Thank off you. a healthy chunk of the touchline. And the big thing for Georgia here as well is they the line, Georgia. languidly saunter towards that line out. They chew a bit of Two time three. Three. out of this yeah. clock. 47 seconds remaining of the... Wait, second half. Side. Both teams with one win from the pool so far. And Side. oh, that is oh so frustrating for Papua New Guinea. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, we mentioned it from last night and early on this morning. Sorry, early on in this game. Corner, corner flag. Yeah, the discipline is what's going to take any chances away from them. And Georgia being all so wise and smart, the slowing the book, game down as much up. as they can. They know that they can yeah. run the clock down and seal victory so here. My arm. Can't come up until I bring it down. Ten meters. Stay behind. Stay behind. And Good. one straight from the training ground wraps up the match. Nicholas Gigori catches Papua New Guinea napping at the front of the line out. Look at that. That is sheer relief from the Georgians. They know they have been in a huge battle here against Papua New Guinea. The passion spilling over somewhat. Georgia, move away. Georgia, move away. Move away. Move away, Georgia. Indicative of what this means to all these players. You just see by the commitment okay. that they put in out on the field, the hits, the speed, okay, you ready? the body on the line Tap play. On. But it is the Lilos who will prevail over the book books. No. 
No conversion to add. Here's another look at it. It was smart play. Thank you. Good game. Yeah. And really, George's ring craft in the end, proving the difference, wound the clock down, took their penalties, took their time, and then took their chance to round off a 31-19 victory over Papua New Guinea in this Pool A match. So, it's time to go to Pool E.